Hey everyone, RSKOS here, and welcome back to another episode of Mario Sleeping on the Job! Welcome back to another episode of Paper Mario. Let's add some music. Last time, we finished up. What? Wait. What? That counts? Also, I should stop, because that's using up my coins, but. Okay. Uh, last time, we made our way through the entirety of Bosley Woods again, finished up basically all our tasks in Bosley Woods itself, met the lovely Madame Flurry in person this time, and, uh, all, found out about all she has to offer, shall we say, and made our way inside of the Bosley Tree, and this time we are going to be exploring this very, very big Deku Tree. Uh, let's, uh, look around here. This is the only way we can really go, is that other door is locked. So, let's just keep on moving on. Let's see, I believe somewhere, uh, not what I was looking for, but I'll take it. Uh, do we have an X knot? Oh, oops, wrong way. We have an X knot. Oh, and another enemy that I'm going to take out right away. Yuck! You will... You will slowly gain a burning hatred for the enemy that is the yuck. I don't even mind if this X not uses the fire flower. I need this yuck gone. Although I probably should show off why he's annoying it. Oh. Yeah, this might have been a bad idea. Yeah, whoops, I forgot they did. I forgot that that did three damage. Whoops, my bad. But the yuck! If you don't take it out right away, we'll will create a shield around itself that notifies all damage to it. In order to get rid of the shield, you have to kill the thing that is spawning the shield, which is basically what he does is just spawn like this weird little mini yuck thing around him. And that is what creates the shield. You have to waste the turn to get rid of it. It just prolongs the battle and I hate it. And not only that, their attacks are really freaking hard to dodge, if I, re if I remember correctly. Whoa! Bountiful Hall. Also, I believe somewhere in here is... Uh... Okay, never mind. I thought somewhere in here was our star piece, but I guess I'm wrong. If I'm correct, there's a... No, yuck! Yes! Haha! Spec bird! And there's two of them! I think I'm gonna... Whoa! That guy over there has a unique badge. Oh yeah, I should point this out. I was wrong in the beginning of the LP about the badges about them being purely random. It turns out certain enemies have low chances of just having the badges. So this x knot has that uh, HP plus badge. Any x knot in the game has a low chance of just having that item in battle. There's a few others that probably have the same... Uh, badge they could have, but I don't know for sure. If for all I know, x might be the only one who has this one, but that being the case, that means badges are technically farmable if you really want to go crazy and do that. Not every badge will do that, of course, but most of them. <coughs> Sorry about the cough. My throat is a little sore from last episode still. This one recorded right after the previous episode, so that's why I sound a little hoarse if I still do. And that's like the bell and move the guy. Or not, he's got some more HP than I remember. Speaking of which, new attack! And by attack, I mean ability. Yeah, these guys can raise their own power. I believe they can also raise their own defense. I want to get this guy out of here now. This guy's bulky! What a nerd! I think I was bulkier than I was expecting him to be. Excuse me for a second, I had to get a sip of water pad. Yep. Man, this is brutal. How much longer until we find that stupid crystal star? I mean those puny punies. We captured know anything about it. 
and they live here. After all this pointless searching, I'm thinking we're lo looking in the wrong place. Ouch. Up higher in the tree, we find, well, a cage. Outer! Junio, is that you? You are looking well. Why are you so calm, Outer? You're trapped, and this is a daring rescue of you. Oh, a rescuing, is it? Well, thanks, I suppose. Those are quite exciting. But I think you ought to help the other punies before you rescue me. Where are the others? Let me think. Big Brother, where was I? Is that my punio? Your question. The rest of the punies, unfortunately, are located. Petunie! Thank heaven! <coughs> I'm so sorry for doing that on camera. But these voices are actually gonna kill me. You're here! You're safe! I knew you'd come for me, Punio. I just knew it. Of course I would, dear sister. And I've brought us a mighty ally. Look at him! We're gonna get you out of there right away, I swear. You just hold it tight for a second. Okay. Mario, listen. If Guts find the cell key, or we're going nowhere. And with that, we gotta find the cell key. Uh, you have anything to say? Not really. Uh, nothing there. Nada. Um. Oh, well. Isn't this a treat? We must stop meeting like this, don't you think? Hey, stop right there, Missy. You're that Steven girl we saw before. What are you doing here? Well, anyway. I heard there were nice vegetables down here, so I came looking. Only problem is, I've been running into more trouble than I expected. <laughs> but who cares about that? Lovely to see you again. Ew, not another smooch. Who do you think you are, you total bluesy? Wow. The precious crystal star you're looking for is near the bottom of this tree. Good luck finding it before the others. <laughs> Take care, my handsome stash superstar. Let's get together again soon. I can't believe that girl. Ugh, I can't stand her. Uh oh. Uh, totally one us. Ugh, my aching. Hey, you! You're the dirtbag who hit me from behind, aren't you? Yeah, real fair, you scum. You fight dirty, you get dirty. And I'll be doing dirty it. Um, why not us, but, uh, we're probably gonna, probably gonna do this anyway, so. Okay, let's see how much health these guys have. I really am curious. That other fight took a really freaking long time. That's an X-Knot. That's here it's classified as an enemy combatant. That description stinks. You think it means they're just low-level foot soldiers? Might just be... Only four? Why the heck did the other one take so long then? Attack is three and defense is zero. They drink these potions that make them all big and burly, and they attack. One's easy, but if there's two or more, better watch out. Your special moves and item. Ah, it's very hard to count these guys, but very. I see those poison shrooms over there too, by the way. I see it. I know what you're trying to do, game, and it's not gonna happen. Because I won the battle, and it reset. Haha. <laughs> There's our key, and it looks like she took him out of one chest, but left the other one. And it is an ultra true. Okay, sure. I guess that makes up for the one I wasted last episode. Or episode before that, I mean. Uh, I gotta say, this is probably a good time to point this out, but uh... The uh, random thieving mouse girl that we keep running into. She reminds me a lot of Catwoman, just, you know, as a mouse. Tell me in the comments if you think the same. Like, it, it's uncanny how similar that is. Elder, we're back. We're here to rescue you. Foolish child! Junio, sit down this instant and keep your mouth shut! Huh? Wh why? What did I do? Uh, listen, Odor, I don't know why you're mad, but we came here to help you. 
Stop your mumbling, you! And mind your outers, you mouth! How could you abandon your poor sister and run off like that? Absolutely shameful! But, but, Elder, I just want to find help. To help rescue you. Oh, stop with the whining! You never interrupt an Elder mid-lecture. NEVER! You wonder why the other Coonies call you a doofus sometimes? That's why. And your time to be a doofus is over, because you have to lead our puny tribe one day. Whoa, wait, really? That day is not far off, and that is why you need to listen. Now, first of all... Oh god. Several hours later. Look out! You got that? From now on, you've got to get your act together, Penny out. Yes, Outer. Yes, I understand. Ah! Only answer once! But, Faye, by the way, why are you here anyway? Uh, I was just telling you seven hours ago. Uh, we came to rescue everyone. We started with you, Elder. Oh, that's so. Well, oh, good! In that case, get me out of here already! Grab it! The cell is cold. It doesn't look good for the old back. And there's a damn stench. Uh, we don't need another rest. <laughs> That's just a sound effect, I think, whenever I see the older in particular walking. Just... Well... There she... She's a... That's a she? Okay. Enough standing around. Just you wait, Petunie. I'll be right back for you. Okay, big brother. I'll be waiting. And with that, we need to go back to the beginning. Because presumably that's where the elder picked. But at least not too bad, or hard to get there, because we defeated the enemies. And I don't... I want to say they don't ever respawn from the Great Tree. I might be wrong about that, but I don't seem to recall them respawning. And then you respawning in this game is weird. Like, very weird. Y'all see what I mean in the future, but it's, uh... I swear, sometimes just areas have separate coding. Solely for how enemies are supposed to respawn. It's weird. I'm just gonna... That up real quick. Well, if it isn't Punio, <clears throat> you heard me. <clears throat> I can't say I expect you to manage to rescue the elder, nor can I expect the commentator here to get through a sentence without messing it up. I told you I could do it. Don't get us well, Harry. This doesn't mean I'll accept you as our leader, and it definitely doesn't mean I completely trust that mustache guy either. For starters, you still haven't rescued the other punies yet. I'm not lifting an antenna into you. Blah, 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 to help until you do. You stubborn meal! Diplorable! How dare you talk like that knowing what we're up against? We must stand together now! We must take back our tree! Don't you understand, Matt? But, but, Elder. Shut your trap, Jennifer! And mind me, you hear? You'll help Mustachio here. Would you say your name once again? It was, er, uh, it was Mario, wasn't it? What's with all these old people and getting my name wrong? It's Mario. He's Mario. I mean, she. He's only world famous. Come on. I mean, know who I was. No, he doesn't know. You just shimmer down you. And everyone else, help Mario clear out this tree. Uh, all right, Elder. Whatever you say. I'm not heartless or anything. To tell you the truth, I'm worried about the community too. And you're right, we have no choice. We must fight. Right, everybody? There you go, my punies. That's the spirit. Charge! Ten punies. I want to see what that would be like in battle, but unfortunately we'll never get to pay. For opportunity. Thank you, guys. Hey, if you're done rallying everyone, I have a question. We're looking for this crystal star thing, the Jake. Ever heard of it? The crystal star, eh? Yeah, perhaps. Hidden down, down, down at the bottom of this tree is a funny colored stone. But what do we do with it? Oh, right. Guard it from evil and give it to a pure heart. That's what generations of elders have been taught. It might be the crystal star. Mighty, or mighty, oh, 
I'm thinking you better get it before those goons do. I don't quite see how it just... Blah, blah, blah. I don't quite see how just yet, but I think it's connected to us getting our tree back. You know that, Mario? It's the star, bottom part of the tree. Go to it. Oh, hold your horses! I forgot something. Before you can get the crystal star, you must save all of the captured beauties. Yes, you'll never get to that gem without the help of the beauties. On a gem. So here, you better take this. It's the beauty orb. It's the symbol of our leader. If you place this in the pedestals you see around the tree, the beauties will gather. You should remember to take the orb with you when you're done using it. Because, well, if you don't, anyone will just kind of hang out and stare the orb. You got the peony orb! It's the emblem of a dream leader by the elder. Alright, you guys. Let's go rescue everybody. Oh, and one more thing! So sorry, so sorry. I've been awfully forgetful as of late. Oh, then, where was I? Oh, right. On your way to the Crystal Star, if you lose any of the peonies and have a hard time finding them, just come see me. What I'll do is, I'll give a whistle to call them back here. You got all that? Just keep that in mind. If you lose any of our peonies here, because, God, you know, the AI in this game is not so good at keeping up with you. Yeah, just come back to the outer, he'll call them all to this area. And, man... I, personally, I don't have to do that too often, but you might have to occasionally. Just because, like I said, the AI in this game, not too good, and unlike party members, these guys can be left in rooms with you not there. They don't automatically stick with you throughout every room. Anyway, let's try out this puny orb here. This puny orb, and something happened. Because we had at least... Ten of the guys have laid. They created a pipe. Oh look! A new pipe! Come on, let's jump in! Uh, let's get this back so we can actually take the uh, Toonies with us. There's no point in going back up higher. As of right now. Whoop, there's a guard! That's two guards. They don't want to lie to us. Uh, I'm just gonna take this guy out from that. Goomba, let's finish off the other one with her. Kinds of ridiculous attack power. Like seriously, upgrade Goombella first. I know a lot of people don't like Goombella, but in my personal opinion, Goombella is one of the best party members in the entire game. She's a hitting gym. She really is. Ah, that sweet FP. Uh, if we unlock this door here, which we can finally do with this panel, this will take us back to this room. Now we have an easy way back and forth. And we could place a stone here. In fact, I think I will just to keep them up here. For now, I think we're going to drop down here to this weird stuff. This weird, like, soap stuff. I don't know what this is that gonna supposed to be. Like, tree soap stuff? Oh yeah, if you stand around in this long enough, Mario will get cut in a bubble. Kinda fun. Didn't do anything, though. But I believe over here, yep. We got a shine sprite. We have, I believe... Four of these things in this tree. I need to check that, double check that later, but I believe we have four of them. This is the first one. Uh, any items here at all? Oh, there's a thunder rage. That's a pretty good one. How are we in inventory? How are we in inventory space? Boom. That's how. Uh, if we need to get back out, we can just have a good warp pipe over here. Kind of wish we could bubble our way up, but oh well. And what we have to do here is use Flurry to blur little guys down into that said weird soapy bubble water. And I'm gonna get rid of this real quick. I'm just gonna leave them suspended here. If you leave the orb here, they can actually make it back into the platform. So I just wanna leave them suspended so that they'll constantly stay in those bubbles there. And I'm gonna head over here and place one here. And now, I'm just gonna start blowing these guys across. Because you can still blow them in the 
bubbles. I have made a mistake. Oh, I have ma made a grave mistake. Uh, don't do what I just did. Maybe don't put the orb over there. That seems to mess up a great many things. <laughs> Uh, here we go. Better, better. You just gotta slowly blow them across. This usually isn't this hard. I just royally messed it up. Okay, maybe some of you go back over there. Let me get y'all back into the uh, sink here. Can you go? Uh, no. Yeah, if you're wondering, this section of the game is about as painful as it looks. Go over there, guys! Need to get them lined up again so I can actually, you know, put them where they need to be. Don't follow me here, please don't. I don't believe they'll ever fall off ledges on their own. You just have to blow them off yourself. I think that was all of them that got out of place. You come over here, I'm gonna place the orb here, hope they don't run off the cliff. Pick up the orb, ready to blow. All of y'all go over there. Got all of them. That's all of them. Okay. That room took longer than it should have, admittedly. And in this room, I think there's another star piece and maybe another shine sprite. Okay, this guy is a pirate, and you probably just saw the Punies react. Most enemies, the punies don't react to at all. These guys are the exception. It's assumed that these guys are their natural predator, and they also live here in this tree. So whenever punies see a, a piter, they will run in here, and other than Mario physically blowing the punies off, this is the only other thing that can knock punies off of edges. So keep that in mind. I think they have more HP like the other guys have, so I'm just going to, uh... Do this. And even though Zumbella could probably one shot these guys, it might be better to let Flurry try. Just for a little bit. I meant Flurry gets a bit better later on once we can upgrade her. But at the moment, Flurry isn't so oh, like good. I honestly I might be wrong to say this, but as it stands right now, Flurry is the worst party member. I hate to say it. And that, and that really hurts me to say that, because I'll admit, no party member we get in this game is downright bad. They're all fantastic. But out of them, even though I love Blurry's personality and design, it's, it's, it's very creative. Gameplay-wise, uh, I mean, every game has, every RPG has that one per party member who's probably not that useful overall. Where is that party member in this game? I hate to say it, but it's... Anyway, we can blow this thing out of the way. I... Whoops, and blow a beauty down there. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna blow them all down there. Oh, yeah, I'll get on down there. I said, oh, yeah, I'll get on down there. Go on, go on. Save me the trouble. And we are gonna paper our way down. The warp pipe will take blah, blah, blah. that warp pipe will take us the same way, but we'll miss something. And that something is a shine sprite just down here. That's already our second one. Nice, do that piranha plant. Yeah, oddly enough, the punies are not all that scared of piranha plants. Kind of weird. Yep. Let's go ahead and take this guy out. This should go ahead and get rid of my lamp. And I'm actually gonna switch to Gumbella for this one just because. Yeah, instant kill. Oh, those guys have more than 4 HP. Okay. Ow, ow, ow. So, maybe 6? Either 5 or 6 HP. Knowing this game, probably 6. The game likes to even numbers a lot. 
And I believe somewhere down here as well, other than that uh, shine sprite, I believe is a... Maybe here? Whoa, that front of my very active. Okay, I thought there was a star piece. I might be wrong about that. Whoa, big crowd. Ah! Uh, you know what? I feel like Earth. Uh, playing in Earth. These guys. We get our star power back like no problem at the moment. So, here we go. Concentrate time. Please don't go, go black again, screen. So close. So, I, I always mess up in the last one, but even with that, it's still decent damage. And have to cut them off. Oh, those guys do have five day heart HP apparently, not set. The uh, fighters. Also, yeah, I know, real creative name. I know. Only Nintendo could have thought of that. And we are in an interesting area. Mario, did you see it? That was a jabby. Based on what Puniper said, they're helping the intruders and are trying to seize the tree. Our tribes have been enemies for a long time now. Every time we meet, we fight. A lot. But I used to get along with Jabby, or J Jabble. He's of the Jabby tribe. I wonder if even Jabble is my enemy now. Well, I don't know, but... While we could head over here or explore these other areas, I want to go down. I just want to head down here because there is stuff to explore down here in particular. Like this locked door that we can't open. But we're not going to worry with it. I was kind of worried that one of them got stuck behind the bushes for a moment. Yep. Okay, this one has our star piece. And it has a save point. But more importantly than the save point, I want to open this up. Because that one is uh, a little less hitting. I will say I did not know this existed on my first, second, or even third playthrough. It took a while for me to find this. We have a uh, healing block in here, which is very useful. We have this guy. His shot is hard to spot. So, so I've been in here hiding from those goons the whole time. But those fiends have been searching high and low for something inside the tree. What could they be looking for? Do you have any idea? No idea. Oh. You earned a prize with your shot points, bud, but your pockets are... Right, uh... Let's store something. I might like this for a boss fight coming up. Fireflower could be good because AoE. Actually, we have the Thunder Rage. That's a better AoE. And there's no end in this area, so I'm just gonna take that. There we go, that's pretty good space. So we have some house items in here, nothing particularly outstanding though. I mean, the Ice Storm might be good if you want an AoE attack, but we already have the uh, Thunder Rage. An HP Drain is always a good item, but eh, eh. But something else interesting. You... Nope, not that. I think somewhere around here. Right. Behind there. Hey, it's a Jabble! Oh, blah, blah. Hey, it's Shabble! Why are you hiding back there? Whoa! A Jabby? Not good. I love thought I was gonna get mixed up in my stock. But I suppose I can't go disciplining him. He's still just a kid, after all. Oh, what a precious little thing! He hasn't done anything wrong. Mario, we something must go easy in the poor, in the poor ear. No, let's get him! Okay, we'll leave him be. Oh, what else, you, my little pudding pie? He seems so lonely, doesn't he, Mario? Why, he looks like I do when I step in the spotlight and then forget my very first line. Oh, hold up now. You know what? I believe he might wish to join us. The young Jebby silently nodded his head. It appears you have a new ally. I heard the rumors. From Madame Fleury to Dim Jebby's. Yeah, the word is out. Mario can win the hearts of anyone and everyone. I tell you, as a person 
as a blah, blah, as a people person and a salesman, I must say I'm more than a little jealous. And with that, I do believe we're gonna end this episode here now that we now that we have a new ally. Thank you all for watching this episode of Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door. Next time we will explore those sections we just skipped out on and hopefully find a way to release the other community. Thank you all for watching. I've been RSK West, and I'm surrounded by creatures. I will see y'all next time. Take care. Bye.